Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge, uh, episode number one. Now, uh, Zombieland Saga season one, I've already watched. It came out when I was not doing YouTube, so obviously I could not react to it. But it was one of my favorite animes. Uh, the comedy in Zombieland Saga mixed with Tasumi Kotaro's voice actor Mamori Miyano was a masterpiece and i like <laughs> i like i was like i had no like what can i say like i did not even think that i would enjoy it so much i thought like obviously everyone thought like before starting this is like an idle anime and uh but it was a surprise it brought us such a surprise that uh yeah like it, it's it's a really amazing show and uh, season 2 is here like I kind of thought that maybe the story has already ended because you know everything was kind of wrapped up but I I'm guessing they have more to like tell us more more uh, of the story so uh, like this is a sequel of Zombieland Saga and I'm looking forward to what they're going to like what more stories they're going to bring you know and yeah we'll have our favorite like uh, band like band of zombies uh, the Fran Shushu so <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys without further ado let's get started with the first episode of Zong in Zombieland Saga Revenge uh, uh, Okay, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started All right, so here's the countdown three two one go Okay Kojima. Is this going to start the same way, like crashing, crashing into something, or not? <laughs> okay, okay. I was thinking it's going to start the same way as season one, you know. <laughs> oh, what is? This? Wait, she's. Her face, like she's not wearing makeup. She's doing part time or something. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Squid maker. Oh, Tatsumikun. Where's Tatsumikun? Oh, I was thinking Tatsumi Kotaro. So she took. This is the anthem. What the hell is this song? Oh, Sakura's here as well. I think everyone's here. Or oh, not, they're doing their own stuff. Okay. What is this song? It's just a company anthem. <laughs> the spirit of the squid. Okay, they're doing part time. I can kind of see that. <laughs> Thai, look at Thai. 
Oh my god, the duel! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you should put your makeup on. Damn. <laughs> yeah, man, <manners>, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. She's a the police officer. I kind of figured that they're in debt or something, like something, like they're earning money for that. Yeah. Oh, they blew up. So why are they in debt? <laughs> EFS! <laughs> okay, and the result? What? Oh no. Oh no. So that's why they got into depth. Yeah. <laughs> Kotaro. <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> Consciousness falls apart at EFS. Okay. Okay, so they're doing part time. Yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> what happened to him? Okay. Yeah. It... What's Ty doing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he went into depression or something. Kota was in depression now. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Kotaro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Damn. Gotaro. Okay. Oh boy. Go on, Gotaro. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the? Oh. 
I'm <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's true, you know. Hmm. Come on, Ty, don't copy him. Hurry. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. That's that's something. <laughs> Die. <laughs> okay, let's see what does he keep in his room? Like he has a guitar, a computer. Books. Yeah, that's true. Oh god. Oh no! Oh no, Kotaro is here? What? What is this? Okay, okay. Damn. Who's prank? Uh, yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, extremely passionate. Is it something related to the zombification? Like why he is in a hurry? Hmm. Okay. Oh no. What the hell? What is this flip? Kotaro! What is he doing? Oh! What was he doing? Okay, Kotaro's here now. Oh no, this is not Kotaro, this is a police officer. <laughs> Another drunkard is here. <laughs> Wrong bar, oh, okay. Well. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, what is the matter? Like, I've never seen him like this before. Like, you know? What? Okay, what is the problem? Like, <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh.
Hmm. There's nothing more I can do. Yeah, like this Kotaro we're talking about. Tell us. Oh my god. Kosa looks like Aaron, you know? They're okay. They're all backed up. Hmm. <laughs> Rip night fest. <laughs> the eyes earth banging. <laughs> okay, come on, let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, these are the new people I see. Oh no, she's like... Yeah, yeah, like, oh my god, she's freaking out. New Jofuk. This is that guy that like who knew Yugiri as well. <laughs> Genkai Zombie Energy Park for Okay. <laughs> okay yeah i was thinking like is there a deadline or something Ah, mm. damn. <laughs> it's Franz Shushu. Damn, he is. Yeah, it's Franz Shushu. Damn. Whoa! The music! <laughs> I think the master was like, no, even, even though he knew he was like kind of messing with him <laughs> for motivating him, you know? Telling the names wrongly and everything. <laughs> and like calling them Sagaets instead of Franz Shushu. Okay, don't you dare get isekai Kotaro! Thank God, I was thinking he's gonna get isekai now. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> oh. Damn, the response is... Oh my God. Damn, Tai is even pissed off.
Okay, is he here? Yeah, he's here. <laughs> Come on! Uh. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a Kotaro we know. Yeah, come on, come on, the snowball effect. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, you have to do idol, your idol work. <laughs> oh my god this is <laughs> damn these guys can fight like you know <laughs> whoa it's like in slow motion and everything. <laughs> the songs are amazing, like uh, in the previous season as well. Okay. <laughs> no effect. I'm stronger. <clears throat> okay, everyone's listening now. Okay, come on. Wow, this song is... Wow. Come on, clap. I know you guys liked it. Okay, Kotaro, please cut your hair. And shave. Who is snoring? Is it Thai? Wanna die? <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> okay, at least he cut his hair. <laughs> yes, I was waiting for that good morning. Okay, this was amazing. A fantastic start. Good morning, Return Saga. That was fantastic. That was an amazing first episode. 
and yeah like tasumi kotaro should be like this you know and <laughs> you know what this reminded me of this whole setting of tasumi kind of like being depressed and then like going like you know coming back to his uh, original you know uh, form um it reminded me of steins gate you know steins gate and science gate zero the whole thing with <coughs> okabe uh, if you guys have seen it uh, i'm sure uh, most of you have seen steins gate uh, the whole thing with okabe being you know kind of eccentric in the whole first season but in the uh, sequel or the prequel as I, I should call no not prequel sorry that is the sequel but like i'm talking about science gate zero uh, the whole thing with him getting depressed and all and then like in the end coming back to his original form of Hyo in Kyoma it reminded me of that and like the funniest thing is both of them have the same voice actor there's Mamoru Miyano I love Mamoru Miyano like he I think he is the best uh, voice actor in uh, like in the male like voice acting of like Japanese animes and everything uh, like at least according to me like Mamoru Miyano is at the top like his voice actor is amazing it's it's phenomenal <clears throat> and yeah but uh, okay so let's talk about this episode like first uh, like the, there was this whole thing with them like the zombies doing the part-time jobs <laughs> and them being unable to properly uh, like you know uh, put the makeup on which like Atasum, uh, like Kotaro used to always do for them and I was thinking, like, uh, like, why are they doing part-time jobs? Like, they went into debt after, like, that whole uh, EFS, I think it was called, uh, that concert. Uh, and, yeah, and... <clears throat> Kotaro becoming depressed at that whole thing. Now, I don't know why, but, uh, like, he was talking about a deadline or something. I was thinking like maybe like he is so depressed because there is some kind of a time limit or something you know for the for the like you know the whole zombie thing um I don't know like and I don't even want to think about it you know like them going back to being dead because like the zombies now and because like Tatsumi is like so concerned about the whole situation uh, about that like time they've lost so that must mean that there must be a time limit to the zombification and i really don't want to think about it because that's depressing and yeah and but anyways um uh, this uh, okay this episode uh, the, the beginning episode this was the beginning episode of this season and i think it nailed it completely and like Tatsumi being like you know like depressed and all and like the girls them doing like you know like keeping on their practice and going to the part-time jobs and everything and like doing all of these things trying to bring back their like uh, former glory that they once uh, like caught hold of and uh, like saving Saga at that process so <clears throat> that and like Kotaro being depressed <laughs> like you know, uh, and that like and drinking and everything like his hair was all untidy and he was like growing a beard. And like in this like in this episode, it showed us how like in the like in the previous season we like saw that Kotaro like motivated them, especially Sakura. <clears throat> like he motivated her and brought her back <clears throat> back from that <clears throat> state of like uh, depression or kind of thing that she, she was in after she <coughs> excuse me after she uh, like uh, started remembering stuff so like in this episode it was similar but it was kind of the reverse like sakura going and kind of like uh, making uh, kotaro realize that yeah like not everything is lost we're still there and uh, like she tried it but she was kind of unable to do it but in the end the master of that place uh, of that bar i'm guessing that's the bar uh he like <laughs> kind of you know like gave him the last push and i think like he was like <laughs> like he was deliberately like making like <laughs> like saying everything wrong like they're calling uh, the francis uh, saga ets and uh, the name like the zombie land uh, uh, saga uh, project i think uh, he was also calling that uh, through a different name 
Oh, he was calling it Genkai Zombie Energy Park <laughs> Project. <laughs> I was thinking, what is he talking about? Like, is this some kind of a new thing? And then, like, Kotaro, like, uh, rectifies him and says that, no, it's a Zombie Land Saga project. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and um, I think he was, like, deliberately, like, you know, kind of, <laughs> just, like, telling everything wrong. Like, uh, like making, like mistaking the name deliberately so that <laughs> he could piss Tatsumi Kotaro off and like he gets back his former, like, you know, former energy. <clears throat> and yeah, then he like <clears throat> rushes out of that place. And um, like, uh, I was thinking like uh, in this, like in this place where they're like uh, doing this concert, uh, those two guys, we know them, like they're like the first fans that the Francisco had, uh, the guy with, uh, a weird hairstyle and the other guy <clears throat> those two <clears throat> like they're the, like the first fans like we know that they're like big fans of theirs but uh by now i thought they must have have other fans you know like other people who like them as much as these two fans but i don't know it it looked like they were the only ones there who were kind of you know uh, fighting for the franchushu girls and i'm not sure like what that was about because like by now i'm sure like they would have at least have a, a hundred fans you know uh and that's also i'm kind of like on the lower side i think they must have a lot more fans but I, I think most of them did not come here or something i don't know but anyways it seemed as if like these two like the new two fans that we all already knew they were the only like you know people who were supporting them for supporting the Fran Shushu. but anyways it it turned out they were pretty good fighters you know like <laughs> they themselves <laughs> completely like wash like uh, like wash that place and they were like fighting you know like the <laughs> the guy with the weird hairstyle he was like <laughs> like nothing like uh phased him like everyone was punching him and he was like ah, no, it doesn't work <laughs> i'm i'm too strong and the other guy was also like fighting as well and yeah and like then like also like kotaro comes in and like gives them the last motivation you know like the whole like encore encore and uh, <laughs> like even after getting punched punched he like was struggling and all and i don't know like uh, the result of this like you know like they were all fighting and all and like the franchushu girls were like uh, like doing the concert and by the end of it they were kind of like looking at them you know and they i'm, I'm guessing they liked the last performance that the franchushu girls did and i hope like at least some of them becomes you know becomes their fans and becomes their uh, uh, new fans and yeah and uh, that was it uh i think i don't think there was anything else in this episode yeah that was it <clears throat> and okay and um yeah and uh as always tatsumi kotaro's voice actor mamoru miyano he did an amazing job voice acting the whole thing and Especially in the end when he comes back, you know, and says, uh, Ohayo gozaimasu, minasan. Was that it? Just a sec, let me check. Um, here you go. Yes. Oh, okay, no, not minasan, but only Ohayo gozaimasu. <laughs> in that, like, eccentric voice of his. Oh, I was waiting for that <laughs> and uh, yeah like this is like uh, you know like he has fun like Mamoru Miyano has fun while while voice acting I've seen a lot of like like you know like clips in YouTube as well where he like actually voice acts the lines and I can see the way he enjoys the whole process and it's like he like he does a lot of things on his own you know, I doubt like anyone like tells him to do it like this. He just like does it, you know, and it's like it's like such an amazing combination with the characters that he plays. And this is the same guy who like like voice acted uh, Light from Death Note. 
<laughs> and this is also the same guy from like Steins Gate and like Zombieland Saga Tatsumi Kotaro and yeah like <clears throat> so like so amazing so talented and I like I love whenever like uh, like I, like whenever I see that yeah, oh this cat is uh, like voice acted by uh, Mamoru Miyano I I like I just like love it so much and yeah like I think uh, like the show itself like Zombieland uh, uh, Saga the so show itself is pretty damn amazing it's so good like it has like a whole like you know like the, a twist in the whole like idol uh, like idol genre of anime like i i like i i usually do not watch idol genre i don't even like like it that much but this is such a joy you know and <clears throat> yeah like th this is something completely that like changed my uh, what can I say like my opinion on the whole idol like genre because I can kind of see like uh, the whole thing with like it, like I think the idol genre has some uh, little bits of shonen vibes you know uh, the whole shonen of uh, like vibes of like friends friendship doing stuff together and like uh, you know like giving others hope to their singing and dancing and like you know, all of these kind of things teamwork yeah like i think idol the I, whole idol genre is extremely similar to shonen genre and like it gives off that vibe and i would have never like realized that if i did not watch zombie land saga I've, like like a lot of things i've like w like realized after watching this show even though it is kind of parodies the whole idol like genre thing it's it still like gives us a lot of insight in that whole like you know in the whole idol uh, genre and i love it <clears throat> and uh yeah season one was phenomenal like the whole season and uh yeah like th this show in itself is so good that combined with mamoru miyano's voice acting it's like a masterpiece you know and i really hope they like keep you know like they keep the quality and the like what can i say the um, like yeah the quality the quality of the show is like similar or if it is more than season one you know can it surpass season one it's pretty difficult to surpass season one but i think if any anime can do that it's probably zombieland saga I'm looking forward to the whole season you know because season one was a pretty impressive like show and it like it put the herd like you know put the bar a bit too high so either like they'll have to either keep it at the same level or they can surpass it they sh like I really want to see that and I think like Zombie and Saga could probably do it and yeah <clears throat> so yeah guys that was it um nothing much to say it's good to see all of our girls back all of the fan shushu girls back and yamada tai is also back <laughs> and okay um let's take a guess would yamada tai be able to speak this season you know will she finally like regain proper ability to talk and his her senses let me guess i doubt it i don't think she'll get uh like you know get her like ability to talk and everything even in this season but we love yamada tai as she is you know her whole the whole antics that she does everything that she does and yeah <laughs> like like the legendary yamada tai <laughs> and the legendary tatsumi kotaro we love them both so yeah anyways guys so thank you guys for watching this was the first episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge it was an amazing start and I like I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to like react to this amazing anime and yeah like that was really good so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general your opinions about this show I'll definitely be checking them out. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video uh, next week with another episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.